And the last question which we have over here is uh, a theme park thrill ride involves a tower and a carriage that rapidly that rapidly moves passengers up and down along a vertical axis as shown in the figure the carriage is lifted to the top of the tower okay yeah, it's lifted to the top of the tower and then released to move down the tower and the ride involves 10 controlled bounces from the highest point to the lowest point and back to the highest point over here um a point x is located at the bottom of the carriage right here uh, the height x above the ground and feet can be modeled by the periodic function h at time t equal to zero x is at the highest point of 120 feet uh, the lowest point of X is at 20 feet. The next time X is at its highest point is 8 seconds, which is at the end of the first bounce. So which of the following represents H? So in a crux, in a nutshell, we know that the maximum height is 120, which is at T equal to 0, and the minimum height is 20. Based on these two, which are the options which we can perhaps eliminate? Can it be this? Okay, actually none of, we cannot eliminate any of the option as a matter of fact, because this 50 and 70 is same for all the options, which means that the maximum value will be 120 and the minimum value will still be 20 over here. So both of them work and at t equal to zero. Okay, yes, what we can do is now, we can find that at t equal to zero, which one is giving 120. If we put t as zero over in the sign, it will just become zero. And the height will come as 40, uh, 70, which is not correct because it should be 120. So a and, a and c are rejected by this logic. Now, whether that's b or whether that's t, the only difference is the pi over four and pi over eight thing. And that's where the other information comes in that the next time x is at the highest point is at t equal to 8 which means that if we put t equal to 0 it shows 120 feet now right at the next time when we are expecting it to have a, a maximum that is t equal to 8 which means that its time period is eight seconds obviously it makes 100 percent sense because it is maximum here at t equal to zero then it takes a ride like this and then it is maximum once again right at this point which is the maximum and this happens after eight seconds so eight is the time period which means that if you want to write the equation i'm going to write it as five cos of sorry 50 cos of bt plus 70 where the value of b is going to be 2 pi over the time period where the time period is 8 so the value of b comes out as pi over 4 which is uh, which we if we sub in over here this will this will look like 50 cos pi over 4 t plus 70 and this is the final answer which is option b I hope that makes sense. Uh, this was the last multiple choice questions in the sample paper. Please let me know if you have any questions or any of the steps doesn't make any sense in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. I'll see you out there in the, with the next video. Bye-bye.